Right. Reno, the nigga. What's happening now is that people are coming to this from the realization, not least from personal experience, the way the world's going, that the world is not run by forces it's run by, and the, the world is not like they thought it was, something's not right, and when you are coming from uh, uh, where a lot of the, the, the genuine vaccines are coming from, as opposed to the corporate ones, yeah, the corporate ones are right, Jay Z and these people, um, oh look how rich I am, I've got a big car and I've got something that shines, I'm successful. It's funny how, um, you know, they've taken music from the street and transferred it into the music of corporate greed and materialistic claptrap as a um, symbol of success. I mean, it's just grotesque to me. Um, but the genuine rapsies, they're talking about social justice, fairness, um, um, equality of opportunity and what they're beginning to see and many have seen for some time is that this conspiracy I'm talking about is the very network that blocks all those things it doesn't want any of those things it wants the few to have it all and the rest to have the the droppings from the from, from the, the plate and they've now started to see Although, of course, from their own experience, they saw that was it. There's the few with all the money and there's the rest of us down here. Now they're starting to see why that is in terms of the structure that makes it happen and also that it's done not by some natural process, mm -hmm. but by systematic um, manipulation. And, and so this is a new stage in all this because when people from that background start to move into this, you're talking vast numbers of people. There's not, you know, amazing numbers of people are into UFOs, there's a lot, um, and, and all the rest of the stuff. But people who believe in some kind of social justice, uh, are enormous. And when they start to see that this is where social injustice comes from, systematically, then we can start to move uh, very, very large numbers of people into challenging the system, because that's the next stage. Mm -hmm. That's the next stage, taking the game to the game players. It's really going down, man. It's a war for your mind, body, and soul, you know what I mean? Like, it's not about money. They make the money, you know what I'm saying? So, it's really about control, you know what I mean, over your soul, you know what I'm saying? Like, how many people they can control as slaves. Rap music is rebellious music from the hood. Our music started going against this machine. One has to realize that if you go with the deconstructive cycle, then out of that comes the most, you know, finest things. When you really realize it's beauty, when you see it's beauty for what it is, then you realize there's nothing to be fearful about at all. All that it's doing is it's ending your lie, it's ending your illusion. It's taking away from you that which you don't need. So let it go, you know, attach to nothing and let it go. Like no struggle, no progress, and it's definitely like nothing to suffer. Nah, it's from rag to rich, then we just hood rich, all that shit gone up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did. It was like a lot of tears, a lot of pain. You know what I'm saying? Just we just you go through a lot to get shit in this shit before I even got to this shit.
Big game, that's all. Nothing special, niggas cherish this rap shit. I leave it in a second. My life is ever changing fast, even if I move slow. Green over pink, I be juice over new gold. Educated minus the papers. Used to front the squad of biz, guess they caught the papers. Hip yeah, hop is me, so all music is my neighbor. Gotta do a lot to come up, so be braver. The sound and style of my flavor is what they wanna say, bruh. 6 3, man, for the gamers. Maybe the man from within who's completely incognito, who's working within the system, you know, suit and tie, you know, never you pass them by on the street. Maybe those people will do more damage to the evil status quo than all those hordes screaming for reform. Because it's not just a mass of people label reading running away into these inauthentic models. It's a small group of educated people, dedicated, passionate, absolutely zero tolerance for the lie, who are from all walks of life, who have spiritually, most importantly, that they are spiritually adept. That they 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 understand the name, what knowledge is. They, they have reverence for knowledge. They're not just trying to gain knowledge. Any idiot can do that. Gaining knowledge, what well, schools are full of it. I don't know. It's a matter of loving knowledge. That's a big difference. Loving knowledge, understanding what knowledge is, is a whole different thing than gaining knowledge. So there's these fine lines in all of us. Those people in those positions of power control and manipulate situations into their favor for their own agenda. The laws being changed, the FDA putting ingredients in certain foods for certain reasons. Mostly their agenda is population control, mind control, you're being manipulated. We're all being manipulated, you know what I'm saying? You learn that they infiltrate groups and key positions in those groups so they can control decision making to move things, to move with their agenda. Now, what's happening to us all the time through verbal manipulation, verbal process, is we are being bombarded for 24-7 through the mainstream media, which is nothing more than a, a, a public relations office for the official manipulated version of reality, which is why when anyone steps out of the norms like I did and I have, um, they're immediately ridiculed by the mainstream media because the norms in society are where the media take its point of reference. Whatever the norm is, and these manipulating networks set the norms, the media then ridicule or, or, or uh, condemn anyone who's outside of those norms. And what the media therefore is doing is constantly repeating real powerful form of mind control and belief implantation is they are repeating a fake version of reality, who we are, where we are, what's happening in the world, which is operate, uh, keeps us and, 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 and encourages us to operate in a tiny, tiny range of perception of possibility.